All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the background of a photo or an image, even an AI rendered image for free in Windows and without installing any apps or uploading your images to a website that you might not trust. So why don't we first look at how it works? So I have a JPEG here, doesn't have a transparent background. I'm gonna use this button to remove the background and you'll see that it just takes a second and the background's gone. Now I can re-add a solid background layer if I want to with a different color or whatever I want. And this was all baked into Windows. Yes, there are other options for this, tools like Adobe Photoshop or Canva, those are great, but like you're seeing here with Canva, it's a premium feature that you need to pay for. And online tools like remove.bg work well too, but you at least need to sign up for an account to be able to get high resolution images back from it and you may not want to upload your photos into a site like this. And that's really where Windows and local image processing comes in. So it's free and it's pretty good. And the secret app, and I didn't want to name it before, but wait for it, it's Microsoft Paint. Now, before you go and hate on Microsoft Paint, while it did go for quite a long time without a lot of updates, back in September of 2023 for Windows 11, Paint added a few things, layers, transparency, also known as alpha channel support, and also background removal. So let me show you a few examples and how I use this capability almost every day. Okay, so I've got Paint open. I'll go ahead and take an image and open it with Paint in this case. And you'll see that I've got it ready to go. If I hit the remove background button, kind of like I showed before, it will remove the background. Now to actually see the removed background, you have to get rid of the white layer, which I'm doing here in this case, and now it's properly removed. Now you just have to save it as a PNG image, and that basically gives it an alpha channel so that when you do use it in another app like PowerPoint or anywhere else, that it will have that clear alpha channel to it. Okay, so now what you can do if you want to is you can actually try this out in another app. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything on the image itself and I'll hit uh, copy visible layers. Now this is a new control in paint and then I'm gonna paste it into PowerPoint and you'll see that it's all ready to go in PowerPoint and I've got it against that light blue background. So it's nice and clean inside of PowerPoint. And likewise, if I wanted to remove the image and then go in and insert a picture because the picture has the alpha channel, I can use the normal process, insert the PNG that I saved it as and now it is inserting the PNG image. So you have to save it as a PNG in order to have that kind of alpha or clear background channel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open another uh, picture in this case. So I'm gonna use one where I have my hands visible. So this you can see, and it's kind of a, sorry about the creepy image, looks like it's something from the Smile movie or something. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background on this image here, and you'll see that it's got my hands and the kind of segmentation of the hands isn't perfect. But what you'll usually wanna do here, and I'll back out of this, is kind of crop out the image to the section that you want. So in this case, I've got a little bit of my thumb bleeding into part of where I want my shoulder to be, um, but I'll just basically crop out everything else and I can crop out my entire left hand. And when I do that, now if I do, for example, the remove background, I'll be able to remove pretty much all the background, but from there, if I wanna get rid of the rest of it, what I can do is basically go to the eraser or I can select the, my thumb in this case. In my case, I'm just gonna erase it and I can erase the rest of my thumb and now the rest of the image is clean. And so when I remove kind of that white background layer, you'll see that the image is kind of how I want it to look minus my terrible smile in this image. So now if I go ahead and then look at another image type, this is an AI generated, uh, catalog, it was a data catalog, by the way, for something else I'm working on. Now here I wanna actually take the uh, image itself and remove the background. So when I do that, you'll see it removes the background. And the nice thing is with this image, and I'll remove the white layer, it even grabbed the kind of shadow of the book in this case to be able to put that and overlay that on another background if I want to. So it's got a bit of even that kind of shadow casted with transparency underneath the shadow because you can still see the square is that it is transparent. Now the last thing I'm gonna open up is a picture of a few different webcams because I look at a lot of those. I won't save this image in this case, but I'll go ahead and uh, zoom back down to a normal level for my two different Razer Keo Pro Ultra and Pro webcams. In this case, I wanna remove the background and it does a pretty decent job. So 
There is a little bit of artifacting, I think, underneath that kind of tripod mount. But what you can do here is either go into the eraser if you wanted to, or another way to get rid of that in this case is just kind of the crop out that extra layer. Let's say you didn't want that. And now you're ready to go and you can use that image as part of um, another, you know, another thumbnail or whatever you want to use it for. So that was the free way to remove backgrounds in your images using the built-in paint app in Windows. Now, the quality, like I said, is pretty good. I'd probably give it an eight out of 10 in terms of most things that you're trying to remove. Uh, as you might have guessed, I use this for a lot for PowerPoint, for example. I use it also in video when I'm using, say, manufacturer product photos when they don't have transparent backgrounds to remove those backgrounds for the video itself. And also for video thumbnails when I create them for YouTube. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a free like if this was helpful and be sure to subscribe for more tips like this. I'm planning to share a few more that I use daily and thanks for watching.